What's up guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be creating a music playlist inside of Roblox Studio. This is perfect for if you're wanting to make obbies, tycoons, simulators, any game that requires lobby music or really just any music in general in the background, this playlist is going to be perfect for. So let's get right into it. First off, in replicated storage we just want to add in a brand new folder. And you can do this by clicking on the plus icon to the right of replicated storage right here and then adding in a folder just like this. I'm personally going to rename my folder over to music playlist. However, for the sake of this tutorial, I'd recommend that you do the same. Now that we have a music playlist folder, we need to fill it up with music. So I like to go to the toolbox for this. However, if you have your own sounds that you can import, you can feel free to do that and come back. However, I'm just going to be using the toolbox and I'm just going to click on this button to drop down a menu and go to the audio settings right here. And I'm just going to grab a few different sound effects for mine because I'm not going to be using long music for this tutorial. I'm just going to grab a few short sound effects like this one. I'll go ahead and insert this one. Let's go and find a few new ones right here. Maybe this one as well. I'm just going to grab like three or four of these and I'll come right back. Alrighty, so I just got my four different sounds right here. You can feel free to do this with however many sounds you want to. And I'm just going to close off the toolbox for now. Now what we need to do is we just need to go through all of these and rename them from whatever name they currently have to sound and then a number afterwards, which for me I'm going to be doing one. After that we go to our next one and do sound two. For our third one we're going to do sound three and so on and so forth for however many of these that you have i only have four so i'm just going to go up to sound four however if you have say like 23 or something you'd have to go sound 23 sound 22 so on and so forth but that's all that we need to do for the sounds after that let's go over to starter player right here this folder and let's go into starter player scripts right here click on the plus icon and add in a local script this is the fun part where you actually get to script our music playlist. So I'm just going to start off with some services right up here. This is just a comment so you don't have to write this. You can just follow along. I'm going to say local replicated storage is going to be equal to game colon get service parentheses quotation marks replicated storage like this and replicated storage this is the service that we put in our music playlist folder inside of in case you didn't know then we're going to go down and we're going to start off with a variable so i'm just going to declare a little variable comment i'm going to say local sounds folder is equal to replicated storage dot music playlist just like this after that let's drop down a few new lines go over to functions now i'm just going to declare that and we're going to start off with a while true do loop. What while true do does is that this is a loop that will go on indefinitely for as long as true is the condition. Now we can change the condition inside of here, such as while sounds folder dot parent is equal equals to replicate storage, then we'll do this. So this will only run as long as the sounds folder's parent is inside of replicated storage. Or we can just say while true do and it will work perfectly fine. And this is going to loop forever. And that's what we want it to do because it's a playlist. After that, we're going to say for i equals to 1. This is going to be our starting point for our loop here. And then we're going to do number of sounds folder get children what this hashtag does in front of the sounds folder get children function right here is that it's going to basically count out the number of children inside of the sounds folder so in this case it's four so four i equals to one as our starting point and then four will be our end point that's what we're going to do and we're going to say local sound is going to be equal to here's where we're going to be using some string concatenation so we're going to grab our sounds folder. Of course, we could say sounds folder dot sound one, but that is a little unoptimized because we'd have to do it for every single sound like this. And that gets tiresome after a while. So instead of just doing that, we want to do something different. And we can't use a sounds folder dot because when we go ahead and put quotation marks right here, it doesn't work like this. So we would need to go ahead and put square brackets here instead of a dot. And we'll say quotation marks sound dot dot i so what this is going to do is that i is going to start at one as we already know but as it finishes the loop it's going to go back up to two and then do it again and then three and then four now since all of these numbers start at one and go all the way up to four we can say sounds folder sound dot dot i and this is going to change every single time basically every time the loop repeats so it's going to start off with sound one and then sound two and then sound three 
and so on if that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know down, the, down in the comments and I'll try and answer any question that you may have. After that, we're going to say sound.plane is going to be equal to true. This will make sure that the sound is actually going ahead and playing. Then we're going to say sound.ended colon wait. So this is going to wait for the song to end before it loops again. Let's go ahead and click on play to test this out real quick. So as you can hear right now, it's playing the sound effects in the background. And each time a different sound effect ends, it's going to keep on playing the next one. And it's going to loop like that over and over because of our script that we made. And that's pretty cool. So that's how you can make your very own music playlist inside of Roblox Studio. If this tutorial helped you guys and it was pretty simple, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Have a great day and goodbye.